Everybody, Heather here. Thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be coloring this fabulous magnolia image called For You, Tilda. Isn't she cute? I love that little bouquet of flowers and the little heart on her little outfit here. So I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. Um, so if you'd like one of those, head over to the store and pick one up. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color. So let's start out by outlining our image, and for that today we're going to use BV000, B quadruple zero, G40, and our colorless blender. And I'm going to start out with my BV000. And we're going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to do it a little bit different today. I wanted it to, I seen this on a watercoloring kit, and I thought I would try it out. So I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to add a little bit of my BV000 onto some of my areas that are kind of underneath. So maybe over here. She's got her hair bow right there. And let's get a little bit under here. Okay, I think I'll go with that. Maybe bring this up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab um, B quadruple zero, and I'm going to go right over the top of those colors. And go around this foot. Get these little swirly cuticles. cues. And work my way around to the other side. And I'm not being too careful. These colors are pretty light. So if I did get some on something, I'm not worried about it. Um, I, I can just go over it with my other colors once I get to that part. And we're going to work our way down here and back around to our foot. And now I'm going to grab G40 and I want to go in here and fill in some of this area in between some of these flowers. And again, I'm not being really careful. I'm just kind of going around, dabbing it on. The flowers are going to be a purple color, so if you get some, some on there, it, it will cover it up pretty much. Or you can take your colorless blender, too, and erase it. And then I'm going to get up here in between some of these little stems, like that. Now I'm going to take my colorless blender, and I'm just going to go in a big circle over all that color I just laid down. And I'm going to make sure to go off of the edge into the white space. And just swirl it all together. Like that. Now let's give her something to stand on, and for that I'm going to use YG 95, 93, G43, and G40. I'm going to start with my YG 95, and I want my, my ground to be up a little bit, so I'm going to use this little indentation in her shoe. It's kind of my guide of where I want my ground to go. And I'm just going to imaginary go across and bring it over here. And your piece is going to be an oval, so you're not going to have as much space. So I'm just going to kind of wing it and pretend like I'm going out there a little bit. And then I want to go underneath it for shoe. And 
and then I'm going to go with YG93. G43. And then G40. And then I think I'll go back again with my YG95. And darken this top line up just a little bit and underneath the first shoe. And maybe give a little definition down here like that. Let's go do our skin, and for that I'm going to use E11, E21, E00, E000, and for her cheeks I'm going to use R20 and R30. I'm going to start with my E11, and I'm going to do her hand first. Let's zoom in maybe a little bit. And for this hand I'm going to use my E11. She's got some dots here already on her arm that I'm just going to use as my guide. I'm going to add a little bit like that. And then on this hand, I'm going to do a little bit here along the bottom. And again, here's those great dots. I'm going to go up here to her thumb. And then right here in the incre in her crease of her hand, she's got a few little dots right there that I'm going to make um, exaggerate a little bit. Now I'm going to grab E21. And I'm going to brush right on the edge and soften that line. And then let's bring this line down like this and again we want to soften this line so I'm going to brush right on the edge of that and bring this out and then I better soften this little dot I put in there and I think I'll bring this up just a little bit more and then I'm going to go E00 and fill that in And then I'm going to fill in this hand with my E triple zero. Next, I'm going to run up here and do her face. And again, I'm going to start with E11. And she's got a little dab of neck showing, so I'm going to do a little bit in there. And I think I'll just fill it in. That's not very much space. And then up here on her forehead, she's got some dots, so I'm just going to follow along with the line on those dots and work my way around to this side. And since her face is tipped down on this side, I'm going to use my dark color over here. Next, I'm going to grab E20. I'm going to tip her here a little bit. And I want to bring this line over here on this side of her face. Up over her shoulder. And I'm not worried if it's not blending perfectly because after I do her cheeks, I'm going to add another color. And this is E00. We'll go over it a second time afterwards. And E00. I think I'll leave a little white there this time. Now I'm going to grab R20. And I'm using these dots on her cheek as kind of my guide. So I want to put some color on those dots. Same for this side. And now I'm going to grab R30. Now let's go with E21. Brush that line out a little bit more. Same for this side. Let's bring this color in a little bit. E double zero. triple zero to cover it all the way in. And 
And I think I'll pinken her cheeks up a little bit more, so I'm going to grab my R20 again. And then R30. And then I use my um, E000 to just go for those. And I'll do a little bit up here. Oops. For her hair, we're going to use E44, 43, 42, and 41. And I'm going to start with my E44. And she's got, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little hair bow right here, and then she's got a little bit of hair right here. So I'm going to put a little dab of that color right on there, and on the other side of this little bow. And let's go right here, where it's kind of coming away from her face. And then same for this bow, and get a little dab right there. And a little dab right here. And then right here it's kind of coming underneath of this um, little wisp of bangs she's got. So I'm going to give it a little bit of dab of color right on that. And above it. And then up here at the roots, I want to add a little bit of color. Same for this side. I'm going to grab E43. work our way around and I think I'll fill in this little section right here but again here's a little bit of that hair I think I'll add a little bit of color right there next is E42 My husband is entertaining the children, the grandkids downstairs today. This is E41. So if you hear them in the background, they're right below me playing. And so I can't, they, don't, they aren't going to be quiet. <laughs> but they're, they're kind of muffled, so I'm not, pretty, I'm not sure if you guys can hear them on the video or not. But they're trying to um, get Grampy to turn on the blow-up castle so that they can jump in it. And so this one is E44, and I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more shadows in there. Now let's do her shirt, and for that we're going to use C10, C6, C3, C0, and C00. I'm going to start with my C10, and I just want to add a little bit of shadow, so she's got a little bit of her shirt showing over here. So I'm going to give that a little dab of C10, and then let's do right here along the bottom of her sleeve. And then right here, she's got like a little line. I'm going to go ahead and exaggerate that. And same for this one. She's got just a little dip right there, so I'm going to make the dip a little bit bigger. And I don't use my C10 very much. If you don't use your C10 very much, you may need to um, pop the cap off the other end so that it doesn't make a big blobby mess. So mine seems pretty wet. I'm barely touching the paper, and it's just soaking it up like crazy. Next, we're going to do C6. And I want to touch down on my tin and just barely make a little bit of a line. And here's a little bump, so I'm going to exaggerate that line. And again, exaggerate this line. Evidently, somebody's walking by outside. The dogs are freaking out. Sorry about that. Next, we're going to go with C3. And again, we just want to add a little bit more color. And let's 
let's do, oh, I forgot to do a little bit up here, so let's help this out right here a little bit. And I think I'll bring this over here, and I will add a little bit of shadow on the top of this sleeve. Okay, now I'm going to go with C0. And there's not much space over here, I'm going to fill that one in. And again, I'm just working my way along the edge and just pulling that color down and softening my edges. And this is C00, and I'm going to go over the entire thing, even that section I already did, already filled in. I'm just going to brush right over the whole shirt. Squish all those colors together. So as long as we have the color of these colors out, let's go down here and do the soles for shoe. And for that, we're going to use C10, C6, C3, and C0. So I'm going to start with my C10, and I'm going to add just a little dab of that along the bottom of the shoe. And then for this shoe, she's got some shadows, right, dots right here. I'm going to go over the top of those like this, and I'm going to go along. Same with this side. She's got a couple little shadow dots over here. I'm going to use the pin on those. I'm going to grab C6. I'm going to add a little bit more to this shoe. And then I want to go over, make sure to go over this lines with that I put down already. So I'm going to go over the top of that. Let's widen it out. Bring it around over here. I'm going to go with C3. And let's bring this piece all the way around. and then C0 to fill it all the way in. Now let's work on her pants and for that we're going to use V99, V28, V25, V22, and V20. I'm going to start with my V99 and I only want to put this in a couple of spots because it's really dark. So I'm going to go right underneath of her arm here. And again I hardly ever use this pen so if you want to avoid it making a mess maybe pop the cap off at the other end. That we don't have to worry because it's really wet. Mine is just, I barely, barely have to touch the paper. So I'm going to go with that. Next, I'm going to grab V28 and I want to go over the top of that 99. So let's make my way around over here. Shadows down here by her ruffles. And let's go down the inside of this leg. Next is V25. Same thing, I'm just going to work my way back around. And just going right over the top of those lines I already have there and adding some more color and softening the edges. That's V22. Same thing. I'm just going to start my working my way around and just add a little bit more color. is a V20 that I'm going to just go over the entire area.
and then she's got just a little bitty patch up here above her shoulder that I'm going to do V99, just a little dab, V28, and I'm just going to call that good because that's pretty far up there. Let's hop up here and do her hair bows next, and for that we're going to use V99, V25, and V20. So I'm going to start with my V99. I'm going to give this little knot just a little dab, and then I'm going to give the center of each one of these bows a little slash. And then remember, she's got this little section over here that I want to give a little dab of too. Next is V25. And then V20 to fill it in. Next, let's go do these flowers, and for that we're going to use V25, V22, and V20. So let me put my 99 away so I don't accidentally grab it. So let's start with V25, and I'm just going to, the flowers have some little swirls in there, so I'm just going to kind of swirl around on each flower and use kind of those lines as my guide. I'm not being too tidy about it. I'm just swirling around, making some little curly cues. Then I'm going to go with V25, same thing, I'm just going to swirl around. Again, not being tidy, not going over the same spots that I went over already. And then I'm going to fill them in with my V20. Just work my way around. Let's hop down here and do our shoes next. And for that, we're going to use E44, E43, E42, and E41. And I probably could have done this while I had them out for her hair, but I didn't. So I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to start with my E44. I'm going to go along the back of that shoe and right next to her sole. And maybe a little dab right here where she's got that little crease. And then for this side, again, she's got a little crease right there, so I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit. And we're going to come right up along the bottom of her sole on this side. And maybe curve it around over here just a little bit. Next is E43. Add a little bit of color to this side. E42. And then E41 to go over the entire area. Now let's do the little heart and the ruffles on the bottom of her pants. And for that we're going to use W3, W1, and W0. I'm going to start with W3. And I just want to add some shadows on this side of her heart. And then let's do a little line inside each of these little ruffles. Here's some. And then we're going to go with W1. And again, let's just go over some of these little ruffles, adding a little bit more color. And then W0 to fill it all the way in. I think I'll do 
do the heart a second time. I'm okay with the ruffles on the bottom, but I'm going to do her heart up here just one more time. So this is W3, W1, and then W0 to fill it all the way in. That leaves us with the stems and the leaves of the flowers over here. And for that, we're going to use YG95, 93, G43, and G40. So I'm going to start with my YG95, and let's do the stems down here first. So let's go ahead and do right underneath of her hand. And I'm just giving a little swoosh. And I'm going to do the other end. And then for all these leaves, there's a little... Um, center in there. I'm going to go right over the top of that. And hopefully I didn't miss any. And then I'm going to grab YG 95 or 93. And we're going to add some more color up here. And same thing for the leaves, and there's one leaf I missed right here. So that was YG95. Now YG93, and I want to go over the top of that. So let's just give each leaf a little more color. And work my way back around here. Next is G43. Okay, and then the leaves. Okay, and for this color, I want to add some shadows in between these flowers here. So I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to swirl some color in between some of these flowers. Okay, I'm liking that. So now I'm going to grab G40. I'm going to fill in my stems all the way, and then all the leaves. And then up here. Okay, now I want to go over these little swirls that I put down with my darker color of green and just kind of work my way back around. some of these areas here and soften some of those lines on that darker green. I want to take my Sharpie white paint pen and add a couple of dots to her cheeks and I shook it with the lid on and I'm just going to give her a couple little dots like that. And then I added some um, Stickles Glitter um, Stardust and um, to all these flowers to the heart on her little outfit and to the little um, ruffles on the bottom of her pants. And then did I put glitter in her hair this time? Mm, yep, I put some Wink of Stella clear glitter in her hair up here. So that is our Magnolia for you, Tilda. Didn't she turn out super cute? And again, here is the finished card. So this card is a five and a half by five and a half inch card, but it will fit into a six inch envelope. I made sure when I um, before I attach this butterfly permanently, I set the card on the envelope. And I made sure that the, this didn't go past where the envelope was, just as a little hint as how you can do it. Or you can put it on your cutting mat if it has um, a ruler on it so you know that you have to put this within the 6 inch mark. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have a question, leave me a comment and I'm happy to get back to you on that. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.